let's create a console project in C++. You can take the Windows desktop wizard and the project name can give say client. It will be a exe file console exe and say it's a empty project okay and there is no file as it is a empty project we can add a cpp file say main it will contain the main function actually if we try to build at this stage it will not actually build because the main function is missing a console application or executable requires at least a main function inside that so this is the minimum skeleton code and the ex is generated the client.ex is generated okay now say suppose i want to add two numbers so i can take two numbers say first number is a second number is 20 or whatever it is and i want to add them say sum of a and b is a plus b now i want to print the value if i want to print the value say c out now it is not compiling I have to include as include IO stream and also I have to use using namespace std okay at this stage you can build this code and if you run it you will get some equal to 30 okay so far so good now here we have added the two numbers directly but suppose instead of adding them directly I need to create a function say simply add and it will take two numbers say x and y okay and it will just give me that is a added value of this two integer right now at this stage i have defined the function add and i have to call it to call it i have to just write add and while passing the parameter instead of giving the plus symbol i have to give comma so a and b these two variable i want to pass it here the name is a b here and the variable is x y is here but they can be same they can be different the name can be different but actually then even the name is same they're actually different variable because their scope is different anyway if you run it same result now at this stage this function is in the same cpp file what you can do you can create a separate header file okay say you can name it say math so math.h okay in the math.h you what you will do say you cut this function from here and paste it here this header file is still in the same project if you try to build it build because it cannot find the add okay now what i will do i'll include this math.h if i include this math.h at this stage i'll be able to compile this cpp file because it satisfied the compiler because at this stage the compiler found the declaration of this header actually but if we try to build it yeah it will also build it because 
there is also a definition but suppose in case i don't give the definition i only declare it okay at this stage what will happen if i try to compile the compilation will be successful but if i try to build it it will not be built and we will be getting linking error because the function definition is not present so either i can give the function definition here or i can generate the function definition in a separate math.cp file it, it generates automatically here in math.cpp okay at this stage it will build now if you run it you are getting this why i'm getting zero okay it does not know that i have to return the sum of x plus y it it created a body but was returning zero by default now uh, it is showing 30 now where is this exe file generated the exe file is here so if you just run the exe file from here you are getting the output now instead of uh, writing this math.h and math.cpp in the exe itself we can create a separate library static library so let's create a static library new project and desktop wizard uh, we can name it say math server actually it's a library and it will be a static library I don't want to create pre-compiled data or I don't want to use MFC data at this stage so it will be a blank project okay so at this stage uh, this math.server we don't have anything because it's empty project what we will do we'll go here and I want to cut this math.h and math.cpp from here and I can actually what I will do We'll go and paste in the math server folder. I'll actually remove this from this project. Instead, I will add these files. from here now if I try to build this math server it will be built it will create a uh, math server dot lib at this stage okay but now if I try to build the client it will fail because it cannot actually uh, find the definition of this add function it is still trying to include the math dot I am trying to see which so it is by default trying to include the method each from the windows sdk but no this is not we want to include the method age which is actually our own method age so it will be present in one level up and then go to math server and then method age so what we have to write I have to write dot dot then math server then method age so this is our math now at this stage if i try to build it sorry say at this stage i want to compile it the compilation is successful because it got the definition of this add function but if i try to build it it will be there will be linking error why because the body is not found because the header file only contains the declaration but definition is not present the definition is present in the CPP, but we we have not included it, and that's why the body is actually part of the library. The definition of the function is part of the library, so we have to include the library. So how can we include the library here? If we can include the library, static library, then we can resolve this linking error, and we can build the client and run it. Okay. 
the library itself cannot run the math server itself if you make it start a project if you try to run it the library cannot be started okay uh, it can be only conceived by any client or exe execute okay so and we can make this uh, uh, client depending as such that it can depends on math server so that whenever we build the client it builds the event server as well but even that it builds the library but it is not linked with this client so what are the ways i can link it i can link the library like existing item so that i can go and i know the library is built here i can include this library here that way it is part of this client i can build it now and the client is ready and i can run it so that way we can create the math server library as a static library and then we can include it inside the executable client executable client then can consume the functions inside this math server library okay now this method h only contains a global function because this is uh, not contained in any class suppose i want to make a class say c math okay now if i move this inside this and also i have to make this function public so that it can be called from some other client if i try to build the client add function is still not found because uh, now it is not a global function it's a part of math now if i want to call this directly without treating object of c math class in that case we have to actually uh, declare this function a static function and in that case we can actually build it Okay, so what is the problem? Yeah, in the CPP we have to say that this function is actually the definition of the CMAT static function. Okay, only then it will be successfully built and we can run it. Okay, now I can go to the folder here we can run it something so the output is simple but the thing is instead of calling the add function uh, directly from the client uh, actually we have moved the definition and declares and everything in the math server and we have consumed the math server library in that way instead of adding this library this way we could have done in a different way for example uh, if i try to build it at this stage it will not build the linking error will be there what i will be doing we'll be going here we can actually drop this library directly on the client it will also include and it will be built but even this is not a good idea the best way will be to actually include this library the client in this way in the linker setting we can give that this project depends on this library okay that is the one way but now it does not find the library where to find this library they don't know so we have to tell that from this path you can actually build it okay you can find the if you are looking for any library you can find them uh, in this path so if you do that you will find the library link it so there is no linking error the client will be built successfully and you can run it as it is okay now another thing is uh, instead of giving it a hard-coded path like that 
okay we can actually do something let's try that if i can find it uh, is it possible to map this path like that it cannot find so what path should i give i think This one yeah at this stage it is built successfully now you now if you copy paste this project in a different folder uh, it may not be in the C tape or somewhere else uh, the the client will still be able to find the library because it is mapped with relative path okay so I think that's it from this tutorial and actually we can consume that function in some other client say mfc client or something like that so we can actually add a mfc project say we can create a uh, windows desktop application or we can create a mfc project right we can create a mfc project mfc app say like that say i say math client it's a mfc or mfc client or let's say instead of this we can say client underscore mfc and mfc can be of different types we can make it simple dialog based application and here we can actually uh, take two text boxes say it is edit actually it's called edit can take input for this to edit it is better in this in terms of actually designing the dialog boxes so we'll be completing this mfc client in our next video but here what I want to see uh, for example so this math server is a common thing for example the library the source code of this library for example this math library uh, actually now say this is the math library okay now this is part of this console application and sometimes this there can be another application say the mfc application and we have actually duplicated the code here okay so there is no code sharing that's why it's a static library and we'll be learning how to make a dll where we can share the code i think for this video this is enough uh, in the next video i will be completing this mfc client okay and the third video will be learning how to create the dll so that we can share the source code of the library thank you